Welcome to the Onshape video tutorial for setting up Onshape at Bryanston School. First thing you need to do is to create your account. So go to onshape.com forward slash education hyphen plan to get started or you can go to Google and just Google Onshape Education. Once you get there, click on the green box with the Create Education account and it will bring you to this screen. Now we've set up an account here for um, a student email. You need to use your own email. So use your name, use your last name, and then set up your email account. So we've used dtstudent at brianston.co.uk. You need to put your Brianston email address in here. The next thing to do is select whether you're an educator or a student. You're a student. And then the years that you're studying. Now, you're at, this is the American system, so you're at grade school K to 12, kindergarten to year 12. Uh, if you carry on using this beyond Bryanston School, then you might be at college or university. Tick the box to say that you're happy, and then click the box to create the account. Now, this will take you through to another screen. On here, you need to enter the school uh, name, which is Bryanston School. You need to enter in uh, the town or city, which is Blamford, and you have to enter in the school website, which is www.bryanston.co.uk. Once you've done that, you can enter in the state, which is actually a county, which is Dorset, D-O-R-S-E-T, and the country, which is United Kingdom. So you might have to scroll quite a way through to get to United Kingdom. Once there, uh, you can enter your graduation year. Now, for this, assume that you're going to be here until you complete the sixth form. On this instance, we've uh, selected the last year, 2024, uh, but just add five years on to the current year if you're in D or an appropriate number of years to carry on. And then you need to enter in what you're going to be using it for. Now, you can put anything in this box, really, but I would put something like design and technology lessons and project work. Next, you need to click the three agreements to say that you're happy to continue, that you're of the right age, that um, you are going to use this for educational use and you agree to their policies. And then finally, tick that you are not a robot. And you can then tick, uh, sorry, click on Create Account. Once you've clicked on Create Account, Onshape will send an email to your school email address. You then need to go to your school email and click on the link that they have sent you and that should bring you up to the next screen uh, which is something like this. So you need to activate your account and once you've activated your account it will take you through to a screen whereby you can set up your password. Might take a little while for the email to come through sometimes. Now, in terms of your password, I would suggest you use the same password that you use to log into your school account. But because you need to have a minimum of eight characters, a number, lowercase and uppercase, you might need to extend it by putting a couple of digits on the end. Repeat the password to confirm it. Now, in terms of the phone number, they want your phone number so they can contact you if there's issues with your account. You could put your own phone number in there, or if you want to, you could put the school's phone number in there. The school's phone number is 01258 452 411. Once you've done that, click on the uh, tick box to say that you agree with the terms and conditions and the privacy policy, and then you can click on Get Started. Now, once you've done that, the software will actually take you through to a couple of setup screens. This video doesn't show those setup screens, but the information I'm going to give you is the same as those setup screens. Uh, but also, this information will help you should you want to change options later on. So the first setup screen is to do with the different units of measurement. Now, I've got to that within the software uh, by clicking on my name in the top right hand corner and then going to account details. Uh, when you first used to log on to the screen it used to give you some tutorials uh, but the login process has changed. So when the options come up um, we're going to change the different units. The default is the American system 
Uh, so the units that it comes wants to give you are inches. You want to change that to millimeters. Under angle, you can keep that as degree, but under mass units, change it from pounds to kilograms. In terms of the clock, you can select whichever version you would like, 12 hour or 24 hour. I prefer 24 hour. When it comes to uh, the accuracy or the decimal places, I would change it to two decimal places, so 0 0.12. We don't need to go to three decimal places, so do that for each instance. And if you're in the setup screen, you can just click on next. That will take you through to your mouse options. Uh, again, just select the default because all of the video tutorials that we've done use the default setting. Uh, so select the default setting for that and move on to the next one and just click on next again and it will set up your account. Once it sets up your account, it will take you through uh, to the starting screen. And from the starting screen, uh, you can go back into the Education Centre. This video is showing you a slightly older version, um, which takes you through to the, the training videos. You can access that still, um, but we have lots of training videos on my YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube and just search for Tim Moggeridge, M-O-G-G-E-R-I-D-G-E, -G -G -E, that will take you to where all the videos.